Hello, it's me Ashley and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope that you're having a lovely day. So today what I'm going to be talking to you about are my favourite makeup products, the products that I love and use every single day. Okay, so before we get started, I just want to say that these are my favourites. They might not be other people's favourites, but they're what I find work for me and hopefully you might see something in here that you think might work for you also. Just want to say if you see me looking down at all while I'm recording this video, I have made a little list of all the prices and things so that I can let you guys know. So let's move on. Okay, so to start with, I'm going to tell you guys what my favorite primer products are, what I basically start my makeup off, you need to prime your face, and I do find that primer does help your makeup stay on. It just gives it that bit of a better base to work with. So my favourites are, okay, so at the moment what I'm using every single day is the Revolution Pro Pore Primer. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Okay, and this retails at £7, which is an absolutely fantastic price. While I'm going to mention my other favourite the primer that I've used before is actually the Benefit Pore Professional, which I find that this is actually quite a great little knockoff of. I don't know if it's necessarily a knockoff of me, but it does feel very similar and it does kind of the same job, does a great job kind of smoothing out those pores and creating a nice smooth matte base for your makeup to slide on. These actually have quite a lot of a higher price tag. Um, these are the mini versions. I'll be honest, I do find that this just kind of works the same as this. I know it's supposed to be highlighting and illuminating. It doesn't really work that way on me, but either way, they're the same price, I think. If you want to buy this in the full size, it is actually £27.50, which is a whole £20 more than the Revolution one. And if you want to get a mini, it is £10.50. So this size here would cost you £10.50. Now, I'll be honest, I do tend to get these when they're in a kit at Christmas or if they're, I don't know, in my birch box or just on offer somehow, then that's when I tend to pick these ones up because the seven pound price tag works a lot better for me than the 27 pounds one. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna talk about foundation. Um, and I will just say, you probably will notice a running theme throughout this video that I do use an awful lot of Revolution, Revolution Pro products. But honestly, I just find them to be really great. The price is super affordable. So why not use something that's affordable and works really well? <laughs> so anyway, the two I've been using at the moment are the Revolution Pro Foundation Drops, which I actually have on at the moment in the shade F4, and the Revolution Bass Base Stick Foundation. So this one's a stick and I just tend to like draw lines and then go in with my blender and work it in. I find that actually, if you're not quite sure what your shade is, I've mixed a couple, but then they do do, I think 18 plus shades. So hopefully there will be something for everybody. And again, this one is just a dropper foundation that you can either add to your face or onto your sponge or a brush, whatever you're using. I find that this one is really nice for the summer weather. It's quite light and very buildable, gives you a decent coverage. This one's seven pounds. Pounds, so that's great. This one again, I think it's fantastic coverage. They've got like I said, great shade range and it is only five pounds. Five pounds, fantastic, well done, revolution. Okay, so now we're going to move on to concealers. And again, no surprise, I'm gonna mention Makeup Revolution. And this is the Conceal and Define Concealer. I use the shade C3. Uh, this one's actually empty now, I'm going in the bin. So I have bought a replacement, this one, <laughs> is four pounds. It's absolutely fantastic. It's blendable. Again, it's got an absolutely fantastic shade range. Four pounds. Where could you go wrong? It's said to be a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape, which I've never actually had the fortune to use. I guess I don't need to now. <laughs> also, another concealer product that I really like is the Maybelline Eraser Eye. I, I did think this was like an it used to be called Age Rewind or something, I don't know. But I use the shade Neutralizer. I've actually literally just finished this one. This one still has the seal and everything on it. So I will be using that and that is $8.99. But I do think you can get great offers on this. I actually bought this super drug. They're doing a two for 12 at the moment. Hopefully it'll still be on by the time I've got this video off. And again, it's just fantastic coverage. I find it's a really nice shade. It covers up those bags. But again, they do have a decent shade range, I think. Can't say I've looked into this one as much. 
but I really like it. Okay, so the next thing, once we've done our concealer, is we're gonna have to set it. And my favorite setting powder that I use is the Lottie London Ready Set Go. And it's just a loose powder. I tend to um, tip a little bit into the lid. It, this one's in the shade True Translucent, which is just the very, it looks white, but it goes on, you cannot see it. I will be honest, I have used a few different powder products before, and I, I go back to this one all the time. I just find it just disappears on your skin. It makes it look smooth and flawless. It stops your concealer from creasing. I really like it. I think it's an absolute fantastic product. And this one is five pounds and 45 pence. I think that's a small point of that. Let me just my eyes. Okay, so moving on, we're gonna go next to bronzer slash contouring, whatever I use it for. So my favorite product to bronze with is the Benefit Hula. Always comes with a little brush. This is the mini version. Again, I just find it works really well. It lasts really well. It's a decent cover. I am wearing it today. This one is the mini version, which costs £12.50. The full size is £25.50. I have actually recently been using a different contouring bronzer. It was the Manakada 3-in-1 Brow, Cheek and Eye Powder. And I got that in a birch box. It worked really well. However, <laughs> I, I will show you. I broke it. <laughs> I dropped it on my tiled bathroom floor and I thought it was fine took it out with me in my makeup bag and when I came home it was just yeah but that it was really nice it worked really well it lasted fantastic and that retails I think what was it 15 pounds so sorry I broke it but it's really nice thank you Birchbox and Monica Dow. <laughs> so moving on we now gonna look at blush the one I'm using actually at the moment is a L'Oreal product and it it's look it looks very well loved so I do apologize it's the L'Oreal Infallible Blush Paints Palette in the pinks. For some reason, this shade, and I don't know how, it's got more worn down, but I do tend to use these ones more. And it, it lasts a long time. You know, I've got different shades for if I fancy different things. It's quite possible and light. And that one retails at $14.99. So basically, I think, what does that add up to? About £3 for colour which is good again they last well you can create combinations of colors i think that's possibly why that one's worn down i've maybe dipped in and maybe tried to lighten the brighter ones i don't know i don't know i haven't used this one in a while so i don't know how it's happened <laughs> but i do really like those so prior to using the l'oreal product i was actually a big fan of the benefit blushes my favorite is the Havana. I actually have a full size Havana there that i haven't actually used yet i purchased it at the airport when i went on holiday last time but I've been using the L'Oreal one, so I haven't actually cracked into that one yet. But that's lovely. I've also got the Coralista on the go, and I absolutely love the smell of this one. This one's more orangey. I smell it from there, sorry. Uh, this one's more orangey, and I found it's been really good for the summer. I've also been using it slightly as a bronzer. It is a bit orangey, so I don't get carried away, but just slightly, just to warm my face up a little bit. Um, another notable mention which I don't actually have at the moment, I do like the Rocketeur one. Again, these last really well and I think that they are great and cool and I love the boxes. The boxes are also pretty and I'm actually looking forward to next month's Birch Box is going to have either a California or a Gold Rush in it and I'm so excited to try one of those. I haven't picked yet and I don't know if I'm going to because I'm not sure which one I want. I just want to try them both. <laughs> Okay, so next we're going to talk about brows and I have just actually had mine waxed and tinted so there's not an awful lot that needs to do into them at the moment. First product I'll talk about actually, I have been using more when I've just had them done and I might need to fill in a little bit and it's a Revolution product, surprise, <laughs> and I ordered it in a shade a little bit too dark so I found when they've just been tinted it actually works quite well. It is a little thick. To be honest, I did order it just because <laughs> I wanted to see what it was like for the price point and it is £2.50 which is fantastic. And I say it's like a little, I don't know if you can see, oh, that was a very beauty vlogger thing. Uh, and it has a spoolie on the other end. It works nice, it lasts quite well. It's a little chunky, but for £2.50, I can't knock it. <laughs> While actually looking into um, the prices and things for this video, I came across I had an old eyebrow pencil that I use. And for some reason, I thought this kind of went out of production and they didn't make it anymore. And it's the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil. And it's got a spoolie on one end, and the other end it is run out because 
like it's an old one. I don't. I think I kept it because I liked it and I wanted to buy it again and then I couldn't find it. But they do actually still sell it so I'm going to order another one of these. It's a really kind of like fine pencil and I find that it just blends really nicely with my eyebrows. I can get more precise strokes. I suppose that's the name. Yeah, Bennett Brow Precise. So I really liked that. I haven't used it in a while because like I said, I did run out of it. But I am so gonna order it again because I really thought that I'd run out of stock. I don't know why. I'm so happy it hasn't. But while I'm talking about products, the Maybelline one I was using after that is the Total Temptation one. It's got a little spoolie on the end. And again, it's one of these kind of chunky pencil-y ones. Again, worked fine. I do find the chunky ones to be a bit eh, but they do get the job done and they're the ones I use. Like I said, I do get my brows waxed and tinted every month. To be honest, it kind of does the job. I have quite thick, natural eyebrows that are actually naturally quite dark, considering I'm quite fair. But anyway, those are the products I like, and we'll move on. <laughs> okay, so next we're gonna look at what I put on my eyes. I don't know why I felt the need to point it, because you don't know what eyes are. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about eyeshadows first, and I'm sure the products I use are gonna come to no surprise if you've watched the rest of the video. Uh, my favourites are Makeup Revolution and I'm sure if you've ever used a Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette you will know why. They are super cheap, super affordable, they are so good, so pigmented, they blend fantastically, they last and they have a fantastic range. Like I said, I have a drawful and I love them and I'm not done, I want more. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you my two absolute favourites now. Okay, so both of my favourite palettes from Makeup Revolution are actually by Soph and I absolutely love these. The first palette that Soph did, uh, it's very filthy, I am so sorry, <laughs> but it's well loved and that just goes to show that these products are my favourites. I'll open it up there, actually it doesn't even need unclasping anymore, I've used it that much. And they come with a big mirror, mine's very filthy, I'm so sorry. But as you can see, the shade range is fantastic. Just a, a fantastic range of colours, they're super blendable, they are just absolutely beautiful. I might insert some little clips of me maybe swatching some of the colours because I don't think you'll get as good an impression from me sitting here. But as you can see, they are absolutely beautiful. There's such a nice range of colours. They've got lots of natural colours that are great to use as like crease shades and transition shades. Then there's a few metallic-y shades, some bright shades, and they're fantastic. And so the second palette, the Extra Spice palette, and again, it's filthy. I'm sorry, but I use this one every day at the moment, and I absolutely love it. The shade range in here again is absolutely brilliant. I'll try to cover this so it's not blinding you. I love the how they have the names on this one, because I completely lost the sheet for the other one. And again, I'll just insert some pictures and things of me swatching them, because they are stunning. Stunning colours, absolutely lovely. I find that they wear absolutely fantastically. They're just really, really nice. So well done Soph and Makeup Revolution. I absolutely adore these. Like I said, I have many, many palettes, but these two are my standout favourites. I reach for these day after day. They last me really well. Again, I get fantastic compliments off people. And what more can I say? Oh, maybe the price. These retail at 10 pounds each. And I think for the selection you get, it's fantastic. I mean, um, just brilliant. Oh, I love them. I love them so much. And there they are. They complement each other really well too. So definitely, definitely worth picking up. Can you tell I like them? <laughs> okay, so now we're going to talk about liner. And I will be honest, I very rarely wear liner these days. I um, tend to just find that eyeshadow and mascara is kind of enough for my everyday look but I will wear it if I want a bit more of a dramatic look or if I'm going out somewhere. So yeah, my favorite two that I like to use, and again, I haven't experimented too much with these recently because I don't wear it so much, but I do like the Soap & Glory Super Cat Liner, and this one is just like a liquid black felt pen style. This one is £6.50, and again, it's quite easy to use. It lasts quite well. <laughs> Uh, the other one that I like to use is a little bit different. It's the Rimmel Glam Eyes Liquid Liner, and this one is more of a little brush. It's a teeny little brush. I find you can get quite precise results from it. <laughs> Sorry, I was just laughing saying, get quite, pre quite precise results from it, but I do remember the last time I think I used this, the dog came and jumped up at me while I was doing it and ruined my entire eyes. <laughs> I was so upset. 
So anyway, this one is £5.29p. <laughs> so again, another quite affordable one. So yeah, like I said, don't line my eyes very often, but these are the two I've been reaching for if I do. However, there may be a little slight game changer here because I have just picked up, I haven't tried it yet, the Renaissance Flick Liner from Makeup Revolution. And I've seen so many good reviews about it and everybody's raving about it. It's easy to use and it wears for a long time. So this may become my new favorite. And if you've watched the rest of the video, you'll know Revolution's one of my favorites. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna mention are my favorite mascaras. My favorites have been for a long time the Benefit mascaras. I find they're fantastic. They do carry a bit of a higher price tag than some of the other ones, but I find that they just last. They make my eyes look fantastic. The amount of comments I've had actually wearing them asking me if I'm wearing false lashes. <laughs> some people are acting very confused. Why are you wearing false lashes to work? But if they get me the compliments, then fantastic. <laughs> okay, so my favorite mascaras are the they're Real by Benefit. This is my go-to every single day mascara. It's what I've got now. It's what I wear pretty much every single day. I absolutely love it and I have worn it for just the longest time. And this one retails at £21.50. I do tend to get it when I'm at the airport and duty free or when it's on offer on somewhere. I have actually just placed an order with Feel Unique. They had an offer on the other day where they had a percentage of Benefit. You actually got a free roller lash when you bought a couple of products. I haven't actually tried that one, so I'm looking forward to that. But anyway, like I said, this is my absolute favorite go-to every single day of mascara, and I think it's fab. And my favorite mascara for special occasions when I want to be a bit more dramatic is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. I absolutely love this. It just makes your eyes boom. It's so good. I think it claims to last for 32 hours and has space technology. I haven't tested the 32 hour thing. Who wants to be awake for 32 hours? But fantastic product again by Benefit, £21.50. I think it's worth the price tag really. It lasts a decent while and it looks fantastic when it's on. What more can I say? <laughs> Love it. And accompanied with my Lair Real, they are my absolute favourites. Two of my favourite things in my makeup bag, full stuff. Another notable mention is the Essence Volume Stylist Mascara, which is only £3. And for £3, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Next thing then is highlighter. So my favorite two highlighting products I'm gonna talk about is the, no surprise, Revolution Soap Palette. I absolutely love this. Oh, so good. Again, I'll put a couple of swatches over me talking about them. Absolutely beautiful colors. As you can see, my palette is very well loved, but it just goes to show the product is good because I am using it. I tend to use these ones a bit more in summer, these ones when I'm a bit paler. I have been using these as kind of body shimmer type of highlights. These are actually fun to use sometimes. This one's quite nice. Sometimes you want to do a bit of a cheek highlight. Again, just, just really good. Really good. <laughs> My other favourite highlighting palette is the Solstice palette from Sleek. You get two baked powders, another powder and a cream. I don't use the cream, but Love it. I love this one. This one's the one I've actually got on today. Again, it's just really, really nice. It's really filthy. <laughs> I have no idea where the brush went, but I love it. And this one is £9.99p. Just while we're talking about highlighters, I just want to say a notable mention to another Revolution product, the Skin Kiss Highlighter. I got this actually free with like a super drug order I did. And it, it's really, really good. I mean, I don't know if it replaces <laughs> my go-to shimmers. I think it's more the shade, but it wears really, really well and the shine is just beautiful. So that one is five pounds and it's huge. That's gonna last forever. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I'm gonna talk about is lips. And my absolute favorite product at the moment is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lips. I absolutely love these. The one I'm wearing today is this one, which is the shade Loyalist. They are £9.99 each. I actually got this one on offer recently at Morrison's for £7. And Superdrug currently have an offer on Maybelline, two for 12. Can't go wrong. I was really surprised actually just how good these are. They last so well. They last fantastic. They claim 16 hours, I think. But I, I, I'm just super impressed. I mean, I ate a pizza and you couldn't tell the difference once I looked in the mirror afterwards. Usually you can at least tell something, but nothing. 
nothing. You can you can wear these for hours, you can eat, you can drink. I just, I love them, I love them, and I want them in so many more shades, but brilliant. So when I'm not wearing lipsticks, I do tend to be wearing lip balm, and I do love tinted lip balms. Um, I'm just gonna mention two at the moment to you. This one I got in a birch box, and it's Pixie by Petra. It's a tinted lip balm, was it sheer butter lip balm, in the shade Pixie Pink and I think it's absolutely lovely. It's so moisturising and it just leaves the nicest pink tint. I mean, you can tell again, well loved, it's almost gone. I love it. It lasts again, it looks pretty and it keeps my lips moisturised, so thumbs up. Again, another notable one I need to mention are the Baby Lips uh, lip balms. You can get many different ones. This one's my favourite at the moment. You can pick these up at the pound shop. I actually picked this one up a little while back for 75p, but you can get them for a couple of quid depending on what you want. This one's actually Pina Colada, and again, it's nearly out, it's very well loved. I rate these, you can get many different ones. Fantastic, just a shove in the handbag for a couple of quid. Look out in the pound shops because they do tend to have them in there quite a lot. Okay, now to finish off, I'm just gonna mention a setting spray. I have actually found a difference using it. I actually, I was using this kind of every day and then for a couple of days it stopped and my makeup just wasn't lasting as well. But this is great, this is the Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. This one's five pounds, and again, I really like it, like I say, I have tested it, I wore it, stopped wearing it for a few days, and found that you can tell a difference. So I keep this on me at all times. This is one I tend to use, but I have heard that the Sports one is absolutely fantastic, so I think next time I buy a bottle, I will give that one a try. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed watching me ramble on about my favorite products. And I hope you found it interesting. Maybe you saw something that you'd like to try out. And if so, fantastic. If you like the video, please hit the like button so I know if I've done a good job and then I can maybe do something similar to this with some other type of products or maybe this again, a little bit down the line. If you've liked it, then please subscribe. It would be nice to have you here. So I will see you in my next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you.